No, I've never been to Fort McMurray. I was looking at uh, a map to try to orient myself to where exactly it's located, and uh, that's going to be a new experience for me as well. So whatever we can do to help kids and families up there, in my case, or um, certainly uh, the nonprofit sector and helping them build capacity, whatever we can do would be a, a wonderful way to get involved and get to know some people, and I'm sure that um, there'll be benefits both ways and they'll teach us lots of stuff too, so very excited. Getting to know people, finding out more about the community, what the challenges are, sharing what we're doing, learning from the Fort McMurray folks, you know, people coming together and uh, looking for solutions, brainstorming ideas, and uh, I, you know, that's that's very exciting. It's an exciting thing to do. Can a boom town be a uh, integrated, subtle community like ours? Probably over time. Um, what it's going to take to do that? I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be an interesting experiment. Well, we've been up here in uh, Fort McMurray since uh, the, the 21st of, uh, of June. Uh, we've had three quite remarkable days. It's been really quite an amazing, amazing time. Uh, we had a series of, of sessions and discussions with community members about setting agendas and setting plans and strategies for uh, dealing with challenges in the nonprofit sector. We had an amazing uh, leadership, Heart of Wood Buffalo Leadership Awards uh, evening where uh, the community got together to celebrate those people who are contributing the most to the not-for-profit sector uh, here in Wood Buffalo region and that was extremely, extremely well received. We've had a series of sort of professional training workshop activities that were designed to uh, essentially uh, establish a dialogue about how best to, to create capacity, how best to recruit people into the nonprofit sector, to keep them in the nonprofit sector, and how to use the nonprofit sector as a way of, of strengthening the community as a whole, building stability, building sort of commitment to the community, building a sense of pride and awareness uh, here in Fort McMurray and Wood Buffalo. Overlapping or hanging over all of this was this idea of bringing together folks from the University of Waterloo and from Waterloo Region to come up here and share those discussions with the people from, uh, from Fort McMurray Wood Buffalo. I had about 20 people come here uh, from all across the Waterloo Region, from the government sector, private sector, universities, um, from consultants who worked in the field of everything from board governance to community mobilization. And they were all volunteers and they came up here with this idea of saying, you know, maybe we can actually work together with Fort McMurray, learn more from each other, uh, get some really new ideas on how to help Waterloo Region, bring Waterloo Region's ideas up here. What the highlight of this whole thing for me was the, the, the combination of the two communities. Um, nobody knew initially exactly what to expect. I think Fort McMurray folks were a little bit worried that Waterloo would come and say, we're going to save your, your day, we're going to tell you what to do, and you can just go ahead and do what we've done. Waterloo Region folks were trying very much concerned about exactly the same thing. They did not want to be seen as social policy saviors. They did not want to be seen as, as the people who had all the answers in the not-for-profit sector. In fact, the folks from Waterloo Region are very much aware of the challenges in our community and the issues that still have to be addressed there. And very quickly, first off, the two, the two groups got along extremely well. Very good friendships, very good conversations, very easygoing collaborations and what have you. People realized right off the bat that we were basically uh, pursuing a common cause. And the common cause was strengthening communities, making sure that communities made sense, that communities had a sort of a solid core, a sense of connectivity internally, a commitment to the disadvantaged, an opportunity to serve the people who needed service. And that these are things that both communities shared in common. And then they realized as the conversations went that in fact what you have is two of the most dynamic communities in Canada, in fact around the world. A high tech center in terms of Waterloo Region, an energy community here in terms of uh, Fort McMurray. And but both places that are growing very rapidly, dealing with the whole questions of, of significant and sometimes traumatic changes, um, coping with just changes of scale and resources and opportunities and things of that sort. And that they realized as the conversation went along that perhaps there was a larger national ambition together coming out of this whole exercise. That this wasn't about Waterloo helping Fort McMurray or Fort McMurray helping Waterloo. It became a real discussion about how the not-for-profit sector actually helps all of Canadian society. And how working at the local level perhaps is the most important thing 
for making Canada a strong and successful nation. So all in all, a uh, remarkable, remarkable series of days. Uh, the folks from Waterloo left here with a sense of real engagement with the community and a desire to come back. Our four friends here in Fort McMurray have been the most gracious hosts you could ever ask for. Um, and they've accepted the ideas and challenged some of the suggestions and it has been a dialogue that's even far better than we hoped. You know, I think this has been such an incredible couple of days uh, and has quite honestly surpassed I think what any of us expected that it would be. I think that the coming together of folks from Waterloo and Wood Buffalo and Fort McMurray to talk about what we've learned are common issues. Um, we're learning from each other and, and all these great experiences and ideas are getting thrown into the pot and discussed. And I think that as we go forward on this journey together, we're going to find all kinds of really new, innovative ways of addressing issues in our communities. I think it's a great partnership. I'm so excited about it. I think it's quite unique across Canada. I think, you know, there's the potential to develop even more types of partnerships between communities. I think it's long overdue. I think we can learn a lot from each other. It's a great way of learning to uh, have somebody who's not from here but are interested in what we're doing and, and can give us their perspective. It's a fresh pair of eyes and another community that's also interested in capacity building and especially when we have the opportunity to work together not just for one week or one weekend, it's for a longer period of time. So it's a, it's a great opportunity for us. I think it's exciting. Uh, the uh, you know, Waterloo region uh, for some time has said uh, we're going to take control of our own destiny and we're going to collectively bring together the business community, the nonprofit community, local government and say let's design our own future. Uh, so I think that one of the things we're able to, to share with Fort McMurray is our experience. And one of the things that we can do is we've made mistakes. Some things have worked, some things haven't. And I think anytime you can share your mistakes with someone else, it hopefully uh, means that they're on a faster curve and hopefully we can eliminate some of the, the things we, did, uh, we didn't do right and we can share with them the things that we did do well. Uh, it's, it's really great. I hear today a lot of great, you know, uh, stories and uh, especially from the Chamber of Commerce of uh, Waterloo and how really the community got together in 2003 and the community are the one decide that they want the change and I think this is the key. If you want something to happen in any community, the people live in the community have to act. It's not really the government, it's not the industry, it's not the non-profit sector, it's the whole community. And I think this is a key for us to move forward. I never knew what Waterloo was before February. Um, I've heard of a place called Waterloo but didn't understand it. Um, once I got the correlation of what they were and who they were and who was involved in Waterloo, um, got kind of excited because uh, I'm used to a dynamic community that there's so many things going on in and uh, didn't know of another place really in, in Canada that had that, those same problems. We have two different industries but the same um, social problems. And uh, as a member of this community, I think it's important that if we can learn from others instead of reinventing the wheel, let's do that. I don't, I don't want to be the person spending 10 years trying to figure out how to make my place better if someone else has already captured a really great idea and can move with those things. Uh, this visit has been uh, just fascinating. We, we've come across so many committed, innovative, uh, wonderful nonprofit leaders that seem to have such vision for this place. And I think there's a great deal of uh, hope for it and it's got a very bright future.